It's Chris and Charlie here with Daily Motor, and today we're driving one of my hero cars, the Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS. This has the four liter naturally aspirated flat six. It revs to 9,000 RPM. It's got 493 horsepower. And uh, Man, it feels like so much more than it that. It does feel like so much more because it's such a little car. And I've never driven anything as loud inside the cabin as this car. I've driven things that have had louder exhaust, but the noise you get from the engine being right behind you mm -hmm. is just unbelievable. So I'm super excited to take you guys all out on the road with Charlie. Of course, he'll drive first and then we'll switch, but this is really a once in a lifetime machine right here. Um, I don't really ever see myself getting my hands on one of these, so I'm really trying to soak it all in today up here in the canyons. The SL has finally shut up, so we that's nice. We can now nice. hear nature, that's, that's good. That's right. Yeah, and you can tell that Chris is so excited because his voice sounds very low and flat because he reveres this car. If this yeah. were something just a little less, if we were shooting this, he'd be, hey everybody, this is Charlie here with Daily Motor. You gotta have some respect for this yes, car, man. He's so serious about his love for this car. And I don't blame him because this really is an incredible machine. Yes, and you went to the launch event of this car and we were all we were all very jealous of you. I went to, I went to a track driving event. It wasn't the launch, oh, okay. but, it, but it was, yes. Well, you went to the first drive. So. I, the first track drive. First track I, drive. I did get to drive this on track. It was absolutely incredible. But in, in some small ways, I almost feel like you don't appreciate it quite as much on track because it's it's isolated. That's the only thing you're driving now. If you had like four different cars on track and then you you cycle through and you got into this, you'd be like, wow, this is incredible. Right. But it's so good and capable on track that it's like, huh? Okay, your your standard gets raised. Right. So lots of Porsche RS details here on the outside. We've got center lock wheels. We've got a carbon fiber frunk or bonnet or whatever you want to call it. Is that We've got with the Visoc package. Yes. Look at our Porsche badge here. It is simply. A decal yeah, you gotta save to weight. save weight. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yep. Uh, we've got an air dam here in our front bumper. We've got vents on the bonnet. We've got vents on the fender. This whole fender design is different. You can see it kind of tapers in here. Um, behind the wheel, GT4 RS graphic there, carbon fiber side scoops. I mean, this thing just means the business. And <laughs> I was lost for words. I did a first drive uh, on my personal channel, Topher Drives, if you want to go watch that. And I found myself not being able to even like, I mean, I, I was just taking it all in. I mean, first impressions, but it's just unbelievable the noises this thing makes. It's a car for the senses and, and just nearly every single sense. It really is. When I pulled in last night after just commuting in at home, I mean, I, I don't even think I even got above 7,000 RPM, but I said to the guys, I said, why doesn't every car have this motor? Oh, yes. Yeah, because like a Toyota Corolla <laughs> spinning its front wheels, place. 500 horsepower. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Uh, let's take a look at the inside because you can't really see much of the engine. You can see an engine cover there in carbon fiber. Okay. Oh, and you can see my backpack and my hoodie in there. Didn't realize that. You can see the engine with your ears. That's right. Carbon buckets. Carbon buckets. That's right. The proper RS way. We've got some gray Alcantara or race techs, whatever Porsche calls it, in the middle. The entire dashboard, steering wheel, headliner, center console, armrest, everything, the door panels, everything's covered in this race text material, and it's fantastic. Typical Cayman style cup holders, what do you think of that? My car has the same one. Yeah, I appreciate that Porsche, you know, they, they don't add the unnecessary things. Yeah, mine fling out though. Uh, aggressively? Mm -hmm. mm, maybe there was an injury once with those and they had to make them more gentle. Perhaps. I'm surprised they could spare the weight to put a normal uh, crust here in the steering wheel. That's true. It's not just a sticker you could peel off. That's right. You look very proper in there, sir. Thank you. Yeah. I, well, I wear, wore the shirt. This is a uh, Topher Top Tip white shirt. Reflects more light on the steering wheel. I actually learned that incidentally from you. That's right. I was wearing a white shirt one day, and you're like, why does Chris's footage look so much better than mine? And then, and then you learned. Shirt, so, uh, uh, did you know you pay $200 to have these in yellow? Really? Yes. That doesn't seem too much for a Porsche option. <laughs> Until you consider that, like, it's just this. It, that means it's $100 per strap. These are probably extra as well. Likely. Mm -hmm. Is there a Monroney in here? There is on our cell phones. Oh. Also, worth noting, this car is VIN number three. Yeah. This is car three. There aren't too many of these. Apparently the one I drove was a Germany spec. Really? It so it probably Germany. went back to Germany. It did. Then. I just want to pet the dashboard. Look at that. You can plug in multiple SD cards into this car. I was wondering what that was for. 
If any of you are I thought it was a cassette player. Well, I didn't open it, but I was like, it's, it looks yeah, like a cassette a, player. Yeah, well, you're right. This is a disc player. That's yeah. surprising. You do not see many of those. The interior of this car is dated, but that's okay. You still I, have to stick the key in here, which I'll give to you. Yeah, you I, have, I would it. never once complain about this thing. I like it. I said it feels yeah. like a 2015, and I love it. <laughs> Can't imagine why. Uh, if you're wondering why we're taking so long to give you the glorious um, <laughs> ear porn that is this car... <laughs> It is because we're waiting for our good dear colleagues to um, decide what they're going to say about their cars. Oh, come on. Excuse me. I just want to have like a map up for us. Mm. There we go. And also, air for my Apple. GoPro. Yeah. And myself. Um, this car is just on the borderline of you could daily it, which is surprising considering how intense it is. But like driving it around town, you're like, oh yeah, like this is okay. Like I'm still, yeah, I'm fine. In it's here. stiff, but it's not like overly stiff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are not Alcantara. Mm. Are we front end lifted or would this give us a life? It's being raised. Okay. What the heck? Okay, I guess he didn't want to follow us. Are we going this way? No, we're going. Oh, we are going this way. Okay. Now we're gonna be stuck behind him. What do you mean stuck behind him? He's gonna drive quickly. <laughs> Not in that car. I'm curious. Are you a manual shifting enthusiast when you drive this car? Yes. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you want to keep it up where you want where you hear the shrill sound. ride in this car. Oh my god, dude. We still have 3,000 RPM to go. <laughs> That's unreal. you to lean in 
into them. They're certainly not bitey. They're a little more wooden than some of the other things we've driven this week. Wooden. I'd say even, yeah, wooden. They kind of feel like you're pressing on wood. Okay. One thing that is a little interesting with a car like this, you start to get to it, oh, that van will be difficult. Uh, you start to get into with a car like this, an RS car, is there is no way to even approach the limit on a public road, especially one like this, so treacherous, in any modicum of safety. I mean, like, even the 911 Carrera T that we had out here, you kind of got swirly in a few corners, but it was still kind of within your comfort zone. You're like, okay, the, oh, yeah. this, Curry, this, yeah. the car is talking back to me, I get it. This car would be grip, 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 murder. Ah, I see. That's good to know. Yeah. Now, I mean, you could probably do 20 miles per hour faster on some of these corners than the Carrera T, but it really shows why you need a racetrack to experience, to fully experience a car like this. All right. Honest cleaning service may be pulling over for us here on the stretch. That was so polite of Arnold to pull over. It was. Yeah. She even offered to do some free cleaning for us. I'm just gonna wait. 
wait. Okay. What are you gonna wait for? You may have to be a breaking the law enthusiast. Yeah. You can't. You don't have the excuse of not enough power in this car, or That's having true. to shift. Such a smooth shift when you're at like 5,000 RPM. Yeah, look at you, Cameron. The metallic sound above 8,000 is, is unlike anything else. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It is Corvette's fault, yeah. and for that reason, I'm this, out, yeah. and this is the car. Uh, this is excellent, and I think if you are, if you care about nothing else gotta, but my, driving. My camera's too hot, I gotta get out. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's difficult. Charlie says if you care about nothing else but driving, this is the car for you. Yeah. And he's right. If you can have one. Also, if you are only able to hear high-pitched noises. That's a good yeah, maybe you'd like this car quite a bit. So, well, here's the mountains. We're Chris and Charlie uh, with real life Forza. Mm, yeah. I mean, do we have any more closing remarks? Other than, I mean, the, I, the, this is one of the few cars that really can just speak for itself. It's, this is where POV matters. Really matters is yeah. in a car like this mm -hmm. because you and the audio. cannot. Yeah, POV Bunnerl Audio, it's made for cars like this, yeah. and uh, we hope you guys were able to get that full experience. And I mean, I know we goof around and everything like that, but this is one of those cars that will always stick with us. Yeah, I'll, I'll never forget driving this. And Charlie, if you just aren't, if you aren't a getting running o run over enthusiast, thank you. All right, I've got one for you. Mm. And as always, sticker Porsche crests on. Okay. Or 9,000 RPM. 9,000 on, yeah. yeah. Over 9,000. They should have made it 9,001. That's true. Is that a millennial joke? The I don't over even 9, know what that means. Thing. Well, then there's my answer. Okay. okay. Yeah, well, I'm Gen Z, and he's millennial from Daily Motor, and as always, 9,000 on. Mm -hmm.